Hey guys, welcome to today's video. This is going to be a quick version and this is Paint with Lovejoy. Thanks so much for joining. Please subscribe to the channel and share this channel with your community. Like I said earlier, this is going to be a quick version, so if you prefer the full-length, non-time-lapsed version, check out my Patreon page and my Paint with Lovejoy website. If you want to further support Paint with Lovejoy, please do. It all helps. And for more in-depth courses, check out paintwithlovejoy.com. And as always, share this with your community. All right, guys, this could be another fun painting today, so grab your supplies, head on over to where you have your setup, and as always, make sure you take your progress photos. In today's video, this is a quick version. If you would like the full version and real time, please check out my Patreon page or my website. But in this one for the quick version, I'm gonna give you an overview, but you are strengthening your power of observation as you observe what you see on screen. So we are gonna be drawing our design. We're using that middle flat brush and raw sienna paint and started with the half circle and then the petals. And again, pause the video as you need to draw and take this video at your pace. So once you've gotten your uh, outline on there, pause the video, take your progress photo. We're going to paint that background and we're going to start with a medium blue and that's about a one to one ratio, white to blue. You are more than welcome to switch out colors and make this your favorite color or something to match your decor. Now, I do want you to try uh, different brush strokes. You can finger paint, and if you have to mix your color a second or third time, don't stress about the exact same shade. Um, and if you are using student grade paint like I am, I recommend that you apply your paint a little bit thicker, so that way it covers the texture of the canvas, and when you apply it a little bit thicker, it makes some of your blending easier. If you happen to be on a stretched canvas, I recommend that you carry the color around the edges of the canvas. Uh, completely optional. Sometimes I do paint on panels and there's no edges, so adjust for what you may be painting on. Now, if you're one of my first time painters, remember to breathe, relax. You're gonna do better than you may be giving yourself credit for. So here we're doing wet on wet blending. We slapped the white on there. Now we're slapping the blue and then you move your brush on top of it. And you're literally mixing your colors right on the canvas. This is called wet on wet blending. So at that point, pause the video, take your progress photo. We're going to be mixing raw sienna and black for the center of our sunflower. And we're basically putting the first layer on there. Because I'm using student grade paint, it is on the transparent side. And to make a more opaque coverage, you've got two options. You can apply your paint thicker or you can do two layers. And we'll be doing two layers um, on the center of our sunflower and the petals today. So clean that brush, moving into the back petals, and that's gonna be a mixture of yellow and raw sienna. And then we'll be using the direct yellow for the front petals. Again, I'm applying this kind of thick, so that way I get better coverage, but we are doing two layers um, on the petals and the center of the sunflower today. Again, this is a time-lapsed video. Do not paint as fast as you are witnessing on the screen. Pause the video as needed. And again, if you would like to see the full real-time version, check out the Patreon page or my website, Paint with Lovejoy. I really just encourage everybody to paint and step out of your comfort zone. So if you need the free version or you want the paid version, um, I've got something for you. Plus, there are tons of teachers um, that teach amazing videos. So basically just keep painting. All right, so we've got our yellow on the front flowers, uh, raw sienna and yellow on those back flowers. Now we're gonna go back to that center of the sunflower. We're going back to that yellow, uh, the raw sienna and black mixture, but we're applying it different. This is creating a nice texture. I'm holding that brush perpendicular to the canvas and literally kind of stabbing the brush with the canvas. Um, it creates a texture and it allows for blending. As I'm applying this, I am twirling the brush in my fingers, so that way I'm not making the exact same mark over and over. Now we're moving into the raw sienna, same application, overlapping a little bit of that dark with the raw sienna, and by doing that, some of that is blending because that dark is still wet. Now moving in with the yellow, same thing, and you'll notice how quickly that yellow is gonna diffuse um, as you do this style of blending. All right, doing a great job. Remember to breathe. 
Now we're going to go back to those petals and basically do what we did in the first step. So over those back petals, it's going to be yellow and raw sienna. And then those front petals is going to be yellow paint. Now, since this is our second layer, again, I'm applying that paint a little bit thicker, but I'm also focusing on a bit smoother lines on the edge. Um, so feel free with light pressure. You can go, you can overlap that background just a little bit if you need to. Um, and in a later step, I will be doing that as I kind of reshape the ends of the petals. But I do want you to trust your instincts. The video is just a guideline, but your instincts are going to push you in the right direction. So if something's telling you to apply the paint thicker or maybe uh, work on that end, trust that instinct. Give it a try. And if you really don't like what you did, you just let the paint dry and you can paint on top of it again. So lots and lots of wiggle room with acrylic paint. So now we're using that direct yellow for those top couple of petals. Again, slightly overlapping um, that blue paint to give a nice crisper edge for each petal. Now we're grabbing the white and putting it on the top and right hand side of each of the petals and then wiping that brush off. And then with light pressure, you're gonna kind of push that white into the base paint. We're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side with raw sienna. It's gonna be on the left hand side and bottom of each petal. Place that color on there, wipe off your brush, and then with a the light pressure, go back and blend it in. Then if you need to, um, we can use the uh, raw sienna and black for those back petals, same concept, the left-hand side and bottom. And this is creating a bit of a shadow. As a painter, you are a magician creating a 3D image on a flat 2D surface. And by doing that, by putting the shadows and highlights in, that's what helps you achieve that. All right, so adding a little more paint to that plate, we're gonna use the medium flat brush. Um, I'm just gonna go over and kind of clean up some of the edges of the petals. If you do not need to do this on your painting, you can skip this step and move ahead. But I'm just kind of cleaning up the tips, overlapping that blue background, overlapping some of those back petals just a little bit. Um, and I am applying that paint pretty thick so it compensates for the dark color that in the background. All right, doing good. And then last little details on here that you may feel you need, I go back to um, the center with that raw sienna and black and just kind of cleaning up going for a little bit more of a contrast and a little bit more texture. Like I said earlier, if you like your painting as is, you don't have to do this part. Now some of my students have actually outlined each of their petals with black paint and if you feel like doing that, feel free. I don't do that in the video, but it does give kind of a nice pop art feel. And here that last step, adding a little bit more brighter yellow to the center of the sunflower for a brighter highlight, and then bringing us to the conclusion of today's painting. So please don't wait too long to do your next painting. And until then, cheers. Thank you.